cable network originally was actually built as a broadcast network, which means I have a single stream of content and I send it on my network and everybody can tune to that stream and look at it. So I send it once and everybody re can see the same thing. Multicast is essentially a subset of broadcast where I send a, a single source stream out and lots of my customers can look at that. Unicast is the exact opposite, where each of my customers gets an individual stream. So they get a set of content directed purely at them. So when you think about that, to deliver a Unicast service, I have to be able to deliver a stream to every one of my customers at the same time. So it's much more impact on my access network bandwidth. One of the things we've been seeing over the last few years is a move towards much more Unicast consumption of content. And it's been driven by a number of factors. One, there is an expansion of just the available linear content in the network. So instead of a dozen channels or 100 channels, maybe I have 200 and 250 channels. I've also now got the mechanism to be able to navigate through those more successfully and find content anywhere in that linear channel space. Coupled with that though, there's also a, a move from consumers to actually have on-demand content. They want to see the content when they want it on their terms. So they're going to the network and reading on-demand streams. Now obviously if it's an on-demand stream, I'm the only person watching that particular content at that time. It's under my control. I can start it and stop it. So that's a unicast stream. So I have to deliver those sort of services via unicast. As people move towards those services, there are fewer people all watching the same channels. So the impact of my multicast is reduced because of that. Multicast really only works when I have a lot of people watching the same content. So this move to on-demand content takes me away from that. Another big factor moving me away from the many people watching the same content is the move to watch content on second and third screen devices, so PCs, tablets, smartphones. Each of those has the content formatted for that kind of device. So depending on the screen size, it'll be a different content stream. Also, depending on the format they use, whether it's Apple, Microsoft, Adobe, and on the method of DRM they use. So I can have many different streams to these second and third screen devices, even for one content source. I have to send those as unicast to deliver to those. So if I add those factors together, I'm getting much more unicast consumption than I used to. So I have to be able to deliver that over my access network. On top of that, we're starting to see a move towards network DVR. And this is just starting, but if this actually holds, that's really going to be a big accelerator in the drive to unicast. What Network DVR actually does is it takes the original broadcast content and rather than delivering it to the TV in my home, I store it on a video recorder in the network. Then it becomes an on-demand asset and a customer can go and look at that on their own time oh, and has DVR controls. Obviously, because of that, I have to deliver it as a unicast stream. So it's again accelerating that move from delivering a fixed set of content as broadcast or, or multicast into delivering many independent streams all as unicast. The impact that those trends have on the access network, when you think about it, is I have to have the capability to deliver all of those unicast streams in parallel. If I have a thousand subscribers off my service group and I'm delivering everything as broadcast or multicast, then if I deliver a hundred streams, everybody has to be able to watch those and that's all I have to be able to deliver is a hundred streams. In a full unicast world, every one of those thousand subscribers could be watching their own stream. So I have to have the capability to deliver a thousand streams. Obviously, in reality, I've got to come to a compromise somewhere in between those. I'm never going to have all of my users watching unicast content at the same time. So I probably have to come up with a compromise that lets me deliver some content as multicast, whereas the vast majority, the whole long tail, becomes unicast. How far that transition happens, we don't really know yet because patterns are changing faster than we can react to them almost.